Let's start by looking at what a steam turbine does. Essentially, a steam turbine converts the energy contained in steam into mechanical energy that can be used to drive rotating equipment. We'll use a simple illustration to show the basic principles of turbine operation. The process is a lot like steam blowing on a fan's blades and making the blades turn. The steam first passes through a restriction called a nozzle. The purpose of the nozzle is to convert the steam's pressure into velocity. You see, as the steam passes through the nozzle, it speeds up. The faster moving steam then strikes a set of blades, causing them to turn. And the turning blades produce mechanical energy that can be used to drive rotating equipment. The blades used in steam turbines are a little different from the simple fan blades we just saw. Let's take a look at some typical turbine blades and see how they do their job. Generally, Turbines use a series of fixed and moving blades to make the most effective use of the steam's energy and cause rotary motion. The blades shown here are designed for what is called impulse movement. Basically, impulse means that the high velocity steam pushes on the blades and causes the blades and the shaft they're mounted on to rotate. We'll take a closer look at how impulse movement works in a moment. Turbines also have blading that does not rotate. There are a series of fixed or stationary blades here, attached inside the bottom half of the casing. Both kinds of blading, fixed and moving, work together to accomplish the energy conversion that takes place in the turbine. This example shows the blading arrangement in a typical small turbine. Two sets of moving blades are included on one wheel that is attached to the turbine shaft. The fixed blades here are located between the two sets of moving blades. Now, to get an idea of the flow path of steam through this arrangement and explain how this flow path causes movement, we'll use this illustration. In our illustration, the shrouding or rim that holds the blading together has been removed so we can see the shape of the blades. These are the moving blades, and these are the fixed ones. The steam flows through the first set of moving blades where some energy is extracted. From here, the steam flow is routed on to the fixed blading. The fixed blading then redirects the flow of steam to the next set of moving blades so that more energy can be extracted from the steam. Once the steam has passed through the second set of moving blades, the steam is routed out of the turbine. This flow path of steam striking